My name is Hathaway Dilba, and I'm co-founder of Ale Asylum and the director of promotions, and we are sitting in our upstairs lounge of the new tasting room. Ale Asylum is Madison's only microbrewery, and we founded it in 2006, and we are undergoing an expansion, and we are sitting in our new 45,000 square foot brewery. Our last facility was 8,000 square feet. In this facility, we have the capacity to brew 50,000 barrels when we get to that spot. We built a tasting room in the front of the facility. We call this the tasting room because we do not specifically want to be referred to as a brew pub. In this tasting room, we serve our 16 brands of beer and we serve a limited menu. Ale Asylum produces 16 brands of beer, mostly ales, one Doppelbach. Our leading beer seller is American Pale Ale Hopalicious and that beer is bottled and sold year round. The other three beers that we bottle and sell year round are Contorted Porter, Madtown Nut Brown, and Ambergeddon. We have six seasonal beers that we produce and sell in bottles. Our inmates is what we call our customers. Our inmates are those that come in and interact with us in the tasting room, that talk to our bartenders every day. They're the ones that we see in the liquor stores and the brew festivals. Inmates are our collective term that we use for our demographic. Ale Asylum serves beer in the greater Madison area, greater Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, Janesville, Beloit, Sheboygan, Eau Claire, La Crosse, and Fox Valley. So the Ale Asylum brewing process is started in the mill room and that grain is brought into the brew house and it goes through a five vessel brew house that is built directly for us from Sprinkman and Company in Elroy. And this brewing process is specifically designed to bring out the hops flavor in our beer, which is what we're known for. From there, the beer is fermented, and then it travels to the bright and conditioning takes, and from there, it's either bottled or caged for distribution. Key to the growth to Ale Asylum business has been controlled expansion. It's very common for a small business to get excited and to bite off more than they can chew, and then they're not able to produce enough product for the, for the distributors or the customers that buy their beer. So we took things very slow and low, and it ended up paying very well for us. The craft brew business in Wisconsin is rapidly expanding and we are very lucky to be in this mix of wonderful microbreweries that are popping up with us. We have some breweries that are lucky enough to be in front of this expansion. New Glarus, of course, they're still expanding and they're one of our favorite breweries to kind of watch and take notice of and learn from. Ale Sound is very grateful for the path we have taken and the way that we got here. It's through our distribution channels, the area establishments that carry our beer, and the customers themselves. We owe our success to you. Thanks and cheers.